Hey, 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 what's going on everybody? This is Hunter. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I'm about to show you a four slide bunk model with dual entries and dual bats. There is a lot to like about this camper. This is the 2024 Heritage Glen 356 QB. And not only does this have two bats and a bunk, bunk room, it has one of the largest bunk rooms that you will see in the RV industry and an outdoor kitchen. But if you guys are looking for the specifications, things like length, height, tank sizes, awning sizes, that'll be down in the description, along with a direct link for pricing. But man, look at this beauty down at the campground, looking sharp, set up, ready for someone to call this thing home. We're gonna start on the inside of this tour, then work our way around the outside. But if you guys don't mind, hit that like and subscribe button if you value what I'm doing here. And if you like my style, I greatly appreciate it. I got a goal of 75,000 subscribers here in the year 2023, and I would love your help. But again, it's the 2024 Heritage Glen 356 QB. And uh, since this is a bunk model, I'm gonna start in the bunk room, but this is gonna be the kind of the main entrance right into a super slide, real nice tall high slides. You also notice the barrel roofing. This gives you a nice little kind of sneak peek, you know, the living room kind of while we're, while we're going through things. Make sure there's something that you wanna, you know, watch the full way through. But uh, man, this bunk room, freaking gigantic. You have the dual opposing slides in here. I mean, look at all that space for that rainy day. I mean, talk about an area where the kids can really have some fun and they have their own bath to come in and out of, you know, kind of when they're playing, run around getting dirty. They're only going to track mud into this one area, which is a big time plus. But over here on this slide, you're going to see this is kind of the single slide. So, you know, maybe uh, for my family, I'd probably put like the, the 15 year old up there. It's a teddy bear mattress up top. So it's really nice and comfortable. You also have a window for a good view. Notice that is square. I'll show you on a window that's a little bit easier to reach, but you can pull that down. It's a nightshade with thermofoil on the other side. So if you're somewhere that's camping, it's a little bit hotter, even though this has dual ACs, you're not using a window, you don't want the light in, you drop that down, you got the thermofoil to reflect the light, you know, kind of back to the sun, back where it came from. A place where you can plug in a TV for your video games, along with some storage. You also get some additional storage right here. Quick little mirror for a bowling gun too. But man, you got some hanging storage right there. Some more here up top as well. And then you flip around, you got all the space in the world, you know, for all the activities. I mean, you could play, you could toss a freaking baseball in here. Top bunk flips up and snaps in to these two little areas. You also have your emergency exit. So pull, push and plop, you can get out in a hurry just in case something crazy happens. You also have this kind of this sofa bed combo. So this is set up in the sofa mode. You can also unflip it. You can kind of see where that crease is. You can flip it and it makes a queen bed that lays across the middle. Perfect for maybe some bigger kids or if you got, you know, some uh, some older family members or something that are coming over, you know, something that like maybe I would want to sleep on that if this was, you know, my buddies. Uh, that, that's where I would be. So this is going to be the, the kids bath or the guest bath, depending on how you want to use it. Porcelain foot flush throne. You also get a little bit of storage here up above and it's pretty good size there too. But you also got a tub. So I have a two and a half year old at home that loves taking baths. And this is going to be perfect for that. It's going to be on the smaller side for the showers. Your main one is going to be a little bit larger for sure. Uh, but perfect for kids, especially the little ones. You know, like I said myself, uh, that is exactly where I would put her. Stainless steel Bolsky, along with some access to your plumbing and some storage. And you got a little medicine cabinet. As far as the position there of the toilet, even back here in the guest bath, uh, you got just enough room, absolutely no problem. I, well, I hit my head right there, but you got enough room uh, as well. Plus, you got the fantastic fan to help suck out the old steam or stink from whatever you're doing. And I like the fact that you can be a friendly neighbor, you know, if you want to. You're kind of doing your business and, you know, toss me a brewski. That's the kind of style. All right, all right, all right. Let's see here. I tell you, I'm down here recording all day. It's going to be a good day, that is for sure. So into the kitchen, you're going to notice you get one of your slide outs right here, but you have an oversized U-shaped dinette, so you get plenty of space. This is also kind of on one of those tables uh, that you can move and kind of swivel around. So if you want like more space on one side, less on the other, uh, you know, you can definitely do that. You can also drop down to make a bed there as well. You're also going to get a little bit of storage here underneath for some of your stowaway items. But look at how big those windows are. Oops, sorry, I'm getting used to this uh, using this camera. Uh, but the windows are large. And this is where I can show you what I was talking about. So 
the track, you'll notice it's seamless along the walls. And then you can pull this down and boom, you got the old Dracula shade. But then if I can show it, if you can see it right there, that's going to be that thermofoil. And hopefully you got it. But if not, it's basically like aluminum foil looks like on the other side. And, um, you know, it just really helps, again, mitigate that heat. Right here, you got a sofa that does pull out to make an extra sleeping space. It's going to come out to right about here so that way you can still walk through. And the nice thing about this unit is both bathrooms are accessible if the slides are closed. Considering that only goes to there, you'll have some room to get into the refrigerator as well. Um, speaking of fridge, I guess let's go ahead and show that. It's going to be one of the larger 12-volt refrigerators there in the market. You also got a little, well, I'm unscrewing that. You got a wine rack, a little bit of storage. And then bada bing, bada boom. I mean, check that out. That's a Mac Daddy 12 volt right there. Freezer section on the left, regular refrigerator on the right, but that'll work off a of solar if you decide to get that. This one comes prepped with it, but uh, yeah, run off the solar, run off your battery, you know, however, which way it is that you want to do. You're also going to get the solid surface countertops too, which is a big time plus. Babe, if you're watching, I love you. But you got an oven where you can cook up, you know, your, your pizzas, your cookies, your snacking. You got the three stove top burner to whip up all the fixings. You are eating good. You also got the Furion where you have a little fan and a light along with a microwave. You got your baked potato mode and your frozen dinner mode. Hopefully you're not eating a frozen dinner while camping though. I mean, at least roast up a hot dog or something. Accent lighting. You even got a fan to help circulate some of that air. You're going to get dual ACs on this because, you know, something this size, you're going to need the dual ACs. I mean, simple as that. Stainless steel undermounted ball with the fra fancy looking uh, little bronze little snake doodad whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. hitting those dishes from all angles. Little window right there. Well, I mean, look at that. You can put all your stuff. And I like how that's kind of like a little elbow uh, over into here, too. So it goes back beyond. Now, I like those little brass tabs and the fact that this one has whatever you want to call this a little black uh, or a little glass insert. Wow, I wasn't expecting that. Look at that. Open area down here. You can put a ton of stuff. Little top cabinet. Little middle cabinet for you. And then right over here, too, you're going to get two of these. So you're going to get four cubbies right there, which is pretty darn snazzy. And, you know, I got pretty average arms. And that's going to just past my elbow, probably to about right there. Probably sleeve length. But drop a comment. Let me know what you think. If you guys have made it this far... If you don't mind, consider hitting that like and subscribe button. I'm going to be putting out a lot of RVs. The next couple of days, the next four days, actually, I'm going to be out of town up at the manufacturer. I'm at this campground for two days. I'm shooting the full Cedar Creek lineup, and then I'm doing uh, Ahara and some of the Blackthorns, you know, as well. So there's going to be a lot of good stuff coming out. So if you're in the market, it'll be big, small, whatever it is that you need. TV on a swivel. It's going to be the Sansui. You also got the Fury on soundbar with HDMI, USB, Zone 1 and 2, that's inside and outside, so you can rock music on both sides. Mirrored reflective finish on the fireplace. That puts out enough heat to heat the entirety of this room. Absolutely no problem. They actually get pretty darn toasty. You also got the little rhino beetle looking little hangers right there to put up, you know, a hoodie or something like that. And then you got this little nook along with an area for your fuse box. Right as you walk in the main entrance, the first thing you're going to run into is going to be your control panels. This is where you do, you know, your awnings, your slide outs your different lighting, your tank heaters, which is going to be 12 volt tank pads that go uh, <laughs> on your tanks. And then you can also check right there. But those are going to be nice for extending your camping, whether it's earlier in the season, you know, or later in the season. 60K on demand suburban hot water heater too, which is nice. Uh, definitely, you know, above average water heater uh, that a lot of people are starting to go with because it, you know, just works better. It runs anytime you got propane, you got you know, instant heat like that. Floating steps. Maybe you could pack away some shoes or I don't know. My wife would definitely figure out something to push down in there. Probably like a crystal shaman book or something. <laughs> you got the 12 volt old steam sucker. A couple places to put some towels. You also have a pretty large size shower and a, another porcelain throne there as well. So again, you know, I'm a, I'm a larger dude, six foot, 300 pounds. I'm getting in here with help of the barrel roof. You got a little, <laughs> dude, right there. there. You got the sunroof, so even if you're taller than me, like 6'5 or so, you can stand, you know, right there. But pretty good amount of space in here. And you even got like a little seat if you want to, you know, sit down and shave your legs, you know, something like that. And then when you're sitting down, shoulder to shoulder, you know, you're covered, you're good.
Tri-Glide Glass Series, so you can open this up a little bit wider as well. Stainless steel bowl, again, with the bronze finish, looking, looking as sharp as ever. And you also get the, um, the plumbing right there, too, as well. Little medicine cabinet or Rooney action. Max Air Fan. And then into the bedroom, you get a ton of walk-around space. I love that because you got the VersaTilt, the 14-inch lift. So that way, you know, when you're not using the, uh, the bedroom as much, you know, not for sleeping at least, you open this up, you get about four feet of space, easier access to your under storage. But it's pretty darn nice. Your control for that is going to be right here as well. And you also see you got those little, uh, little pull-outs, which aren't pull-outs on this, so the sticker's not right. But you do got those right there that you can pull out, I suppose. Windows on both sides. Again, they open up for a nice breeze. They also are going to be tinted with that alumafoil. Flip it around. You got your TV backer along with the appropriate outlets. You also have a dresser with a little... I just knocked over the clock. I should stay nice and balanced. Bada bing, bada boom. Uh, it's also got outlets on either side of the bed too, by the way, if you got like CPAP or something like that. Emergency exit, pull, push, and plop, along with a little place where you can sit down, maybe tie your shoes. And then you got an oversized closet here as well, which is going to be nice. You are prepped up for your washer and dryer, your King Wi-Fi Connect right here. So that's going to be nice, prepped for it. That way you can get Wi-Fi on the go, whether you're, you know, living in it, working in it, traveling in it. If you want to get 4G LTE, you know, you're more than able to do so. You also got some pretty good cubbies. And, uh, yeah, I just like that. It's a really nice size. You know, I could, I could sleep in that thing if I wanted to. I don't know if I would, but I could. So dual ACs, uh, they're both going to be ducted in, which is nice. So it runs through, you know, like that basically. And then it kind of spins around on a little track system. But if you're going to be, you know, sleeping in here and you want to, you know, secretly suck all the cool air and let the kids, you know, fry up a little bit, you open that thing up, disproportionately pushes the cool air here into your bedroom, or you can close this up and evenly distribute it uh, throughout the rest of the RV. But all right, guys, uh, drop a comment. Let me know what you think. I'm going to head around the outside now. But again, this is the 2024 uh, Hemisphere, 2024 Heritage Glen, 356 QB. This is Their Hemisphere is also their sister product, uh, if I didn't say that already. But now we're going to knock out the outside. But in case you missed it the first time around, all the specifications, length, height, tank sizes, awning sizes, will be down in the description of this video. Things like, you know, the size, that absolutely massive awning right there with the LED lights underneath. Four point, you got four point uh, leveling right there, so electric stabilizing. You also get a little leash latch for your furry friend. And look at this pass-through storage. Really nice and clean cut. It's massive. Heck, you could probably get the kids to sleep in there if you want. So we've got big enough space, that's for sure. You also have a Luma foil in here, so no exposed wood. Welded at all points. So even though this is going to be a little bit less expensive than some of your high-end fifth wheels, you still get a lot of the high-end features, high-end finishes. little apple juice cracker right there, and then your battery disconnect too as well. Uh, heated and enclosed accessibility. So that I, don't, I don't know why that sticker is there because the accessibility is right here, but it's all basically that rib armor. So it's in six-foot sections as opposed to one piece, basically meaning if you ever have that uh-oh moment and you got to drop that down, you only have to do one section, which is nice. It's going to save you time on service work. It's going to keep the cost down as well. The solid steps that flip up into the doorway with this extra large grab handle. <laughs> Looking a little goofy, but there you go. And then nice and sturdy. I might want to pause it on this, but this is a pretty cool little thing. And I'll have a link down in the description where you can access all of that. But you also have uh, the Goodyear Endurance tires too, which is nice. So it's going to have a one-year no-excuses warranty and then a five-year warranty as well uh, from the manufacturer too, which is always nice. Those are going to be your outside speakers. And then you got a pretty darn impressive outdoor kitchen here too. So you're going to have a plumbed-in sink, meaning you don't have to dump it to get the water out. It's actually plumbed into the water line. You also have, you know, your, your capital griddle right here. So whip up, you know, your, um, your eggs, your bacon, your burgers. You're having a good time. It's just like kind of like a Blackstone right there. You also got a little, little grease dripper. You probably have, let's see here, where'd it go? Can't see down there, but LP Quick Connect. And then you also got a outdoor refrigerator where you can snap up probably about a 96 pack of apple juices in that bad boy, no problemo. There's gonna be the control for your rear jacks here. And then you got a kind of a split bumper. So either side of the steps that do fold up, but to make room for that entrance. And then you have a ladder to get on top of your fully walkable roof, you know, check your seals check your slides, make sure your maintenance is good. 
You're also prepped for a Furion observation camera. So it comes with a four and a half inch screen that you have suction cup right under your windshield. So you can see what's going on behind you with some distance markers. It also uh, has a one-way mic too, which is nice. So you can kind of scream at each other, you know, a little bit more discreetly. All three slides on this side, I believe are gonna be prepped, or not prepped, I'm sorry, are gonna be available for a slide topper if you would like. It's basically a piece of awning that goes from here to here. And then it um, you know, stops debris from falling on top of the unit. So it rolls off the top when you close it. If you're ever gonna get a leak, it's gonna come from the slide. And it's usually from you just kind of being a bonehead, not knowing there's a tree branch there. Sewer dump. Laminated sidewalls. This is the back end of that um, suburban on-demand hot water heater. And there's gonna be your sewer valve right there too as well. Let's open this here. Oh no, it's locked. Bummer. So back behind here is actually gonna be a docking station. So you're gonna have like your city connection, your fresh water connection, your black tank flush, which is gonna be a sprinkler system there for your poop tank and an outside shower. So that way you can kind of wash off the kids. Uh, but just so you know, that is there. And then also, of course, you got some extra storage here up the front too. Dry weight, 12,125 pounds, so not overwhelmingly heavy, uh, but it's getting up there for sure. And then you got some LED lights up the front. But guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Again, my name is Hunter, and this was the 2024 Heritage Glen 356 QB. Hope to see you next time. See you. Meow, 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 meow.